there I'm, uh, on the Native American reservation here just south of Du Bois and there's some wild here they come right at me they're wanting to cross the road how do you think that's going to go for them with all this traffic Let's see if I can back away get out of their way but they definitely want to come this way they're not that concerned about me Come on guys, I'm not going to do anything to you. Beautiful. This is going to be awesome. I'm just concerned about them. Because well, my whole concern in my walk, my walk for wildlife crossings. These guys want to cross the road. See what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to run. This is amazing. It's Tuesday, September 14th, I'd say. They just got to cross good. Watch them go up the side of the mountain. This is a treat. Now they have to jump that fence. So I parked my cart. I thought I had it locked. And I start to look down at them. And for whatever reason, out of the corner of my eye, I look at my cart is flying down into a ditch. And I barely got to it before it was a very bad situation. Got a little excited about these guys. I think they're gonna go under. And we'll see. So now they've got a con, you know, they want to keep moving, and here they have a fence. So what are they supposed to do? They're gonna go under. Yep, they got a little spot there. Cool. Alright, they got through good. I'm gonna keep filming for a little bit here. Fortunately, there's no cars coming by. It's been really busy. They put in like 10, 11 miles of new pavement up just south of Du Bois and so streams of traffic at a time because they're only letting them through once one at a group at a time so this is unique there's no cars it's been pretty crazy some big horned sheep They're just going to keep walking along this ridge. And probably all the way down to that end. I'm guessing all the way along the ridge there, down and then turn around that corner. Up about halfway is, would be my guess. I'm probably about, I don't know, 13 miles or so south of Du Bois, Wyoming, which is like 50 miles southeast of Tetons. And I'm on the Native American reservation down here, and I'm, I'm not sure the name of it at the moment. I took a picture of it, so I have it in my records. It's interesting that the one that looks the scraggliest and losing its fur or hair, I guess, is the one leading. I guess maybe that's the old, the old one or something. But it definitely is not the biggest, strongest. I'd say the biggest one is second to last there. Okay, I'll let him come around the edge of this. Let's see, and then I'm gonna end the video. Or I could be here a while. I've decided to stop. I'm gonna back up. 
Oops, sorry. Take a look at them here. All right, it was awesome. So glad they got across safely. Obviously, this is the corridor area. They were probably over here across, drinking some water, which obviously they need to do. I was just in Africa shooting wildlife photos earlier this year for the Great Gravies Trust. Donated my photos, and they said that they found the zebras are they're in danger. There's only about 2,000 of them. They'll literally see humans, see situation, other animals, livestock, not go drink water, and then they'll find them where they've died of um, lack of water. So, you know, got, out here it's just amazing how many fences, have these streams and these rivers fenced off. For these, it's just crazy. But, all right, walk for wildlife crossings. Guys are chilling. Explore on, get out there.